Okay, I'm glad you made it to Yoga Pilates. Let's try to warm ourselves up on this damp day. Uh, feet under hips, lift up through those hips, lift the rib cage off the waist, roll the shoulder blades down the back, palms to the front of the room. Close your eyes if you'd like. Lift your chin to level your head. Feel the back of your head over the back of your spine, head perfectly balanced. Two breaths here. Open eyes. Let's come down to the mat to start our Pilates warm up. We're going to be on our back, feet on the mat. Going to start with a modified single leg pull. Press the belly button down to the spine. Maintain that arch of the spine. Pull one leg in and then the other. Head and shoulders staying flat on the mat for now as we warm up. Push the belly down to lift the leg up off the mat rather than thinking of the power coming from the leg. Point the toes, hug that knee in deep to the chest. A little bit of dynamic stretching as well. We can stay here. You can lift head and shoulders up to meet that knee. So kind of a modified crunch bind. Exhale on the crunch. And you can stay here or you can go to the full expression head and shoulders, stay off the mat, hug the knee, extended leg hovers, reach, 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 and pull. Nice, tight hug of that knee. Reach, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug the knee. Rock side to side, massage the lower back. Legs extended, you can bring those thumbs underneath the glutes, coming to a leg raise. We're gonna start with legs together. Uh, you can have your toes pointed or flexed or relaxed, whatever's comfortable for you. Really push that belly button down, not letting the spine dome up. And exhale, keeping the spine neutral. Lift, exhale, lift and inhale, exhale. Focusing on the tide of your breathing keeping those knees almost rotated toward one another to keep the legs aligned in the hip sockets. Four, three, two, one, Feet on the mat, rock the knees side to side. Get a little tension out before we come to our next set. Second set, we're kind of be going to be making a capital letter I. So legs extended, open, back to center, lift, open, back to center. Down, open, lift, open. Down, open, lift, open. You can have a uh, head and shoulders down on the mat, which is what I'm doing because I really want this to be in the lower core, but you could also lift head and shoulders up. 
to bring more work to those upper abs. Open, lift, open, lift, open, lift, open, drop, open, lift, open, drop, stay down here. This time do lift head and shoulders up. We're gonna stay down here, open, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop it down, extend the arms, extend the legs, nice long reach, maximum length. And now we're gonna roll all the way over to our plank variation. Coming into um, an elbow plank or a hand plank. I'm gonna come into elbow. You can be on knees or on toes. If on knees, step, 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 step. Same thing on toes. Step to one side, back to center. Other side, back to center. Step, step, center. Step, step, center. Step, step, center. Step, step, center. Pivoting from those elbows or those hands. Coming back to the center. Hips low, not letting that booty pop up. Center, side, side, center, side, side, center, side, side, center, side, side, center. Four, three, two, one. Hold the plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to child's pose, arms extended. Stretching the shoulders, stretching the lower back. Coming onto our side, we're gonna be doing a clamshell. You know, I'm gonna grab a resistance band. You can do it with or without one. If you have a resistance band, you're gonna wrap it around the legs. Hold on tight with that bottom hand. Coming onto the side, um, you can have your head relaxed under the mat. If you're not you holding a resistance band, you can be up or you can hold it in your top hand, I guess. It's just not quite as in as leveraged a position. Heels in line with the glute, lift, 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 lift. lift. Feet stay together. Hips stacked up and down. I was laying back a little bit. I shouldn't have been. Feel the work happening right along the glute. So you know your hips are nice and stacked and that top hip isn't falling back. Lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Push the heels back. Knees are in line with the hips. Lift, lift, lift. Very different movement. 
bringing it more to the back of the glute, back of the thigh, lift, 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 open, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, heels back in line with the glutes, knees in front. This time we're gonna lift that whole leg instead of pivoting at the foot. Lift, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done on that side. That was pretty thorough, I think. <laughs> Other side, starting with that uh, traditional kind of clamshell, heels in line with the glutes, hips stacked, open, 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 nice. Feel that work happening. Lift, 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 lift. Nice job. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in line with the hips, feet behind, lift, lift, lift. Hips still stacked, top hip not falling behind. Lift, lift, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Slide the knees forward again. Lift the whole leg. Lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. And extend those legs, stretch them out, wiggle them. We're gonna continue that movement coming up on our elbows. So feet can be on the floor or feet can be lifted. We're in kind of a modified boat here. Double leg clamshell, open, 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 open. Supported by your elbows, but still lifting up the chest. Nice engaged core, spine aligned, not collapsing down toward the mat. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Staying in this position, tap, lift, tap, lift. For the lift, push that lower belly down to lift those knees into the air. Exhale on the lift, inhale on the way down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy baby. Grab the feet, ankles, shins, or calves. 
Just a little stretch and rest here. Coming over onto our belly to work our lower back. Coming into a sphinx pose, elbows under shoulders, hands in front of you, palms flat on the mat, strong core, not letting the belly collapse, lifting that belly up, not letting the shoulders collapse, lifting up that spine. We're going to come to a lift, uh, a, a kick, lift, set down, extend. So bend the knee, lift the heel up to the sky, back to the mat and down. Lift and down. On that lift, really tense those front abs. Well, all your abs are in front, but you know what I mean. <laughs> to keep the spine aligned. At the same time, you should feel nice work happening in that lower back. Bend, lift, and down. Bend, lift, and down. If it's too intense on the lower back, just do the bend and not the lift. It should feel like a really good loading amount of work hopefully without putting pressure on that lower back. That's what those abs are for, to keep the spine in alignment. Lift and down, lift and down, lift and down two more sets. Last set. Hands, uh, head down to the mat. You can rest your chin on your palms or on the mat, whatever you'd like. We're gonna do both legs together. Bend, lift, extend. Bend, lift, extend. Core is still working, but not as much. Trying to feel this lift coming from the glutes and the stabilizer muscles of your lower back. Hugging the knees together, lift, lift, four, three, two, one, and child's pose again to stretch that lower back. Back onto the back for another crunch variation. Walk the heels toward the glutes. Walk glutes toward the heels. Inhale on the exhale, press the belly button down, lift head and shoulders up off the mat. Tap, tap, tap on those heels. Side to side, head and shoulders stay lifted. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Nice work for the obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming up to our pretzel to continue the oblique work. Top leg, I don't know why I have giant string on me. Top leg uh, extended to the side at 90 degrees, bottom leg extended to the front at 90 degrees. Strong supporting hand, hand on the hip, lift, lift, lift that knee. Feel the work happening in this oblique. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
Three, two, one, point and kick. Kick, 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 kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex, push back, 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 back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg, lift it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Top leg to the side, bottom leg in front, knees at 90 degrees. Start with a lift with the bent knee. Lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and kick, kick, kick. Kick, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex the foot, push back, 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 back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg up, up, pulse up. Up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back on the back, final move. Coming into our 100s. The uh, knees bent at 90 or legs up in the air. It can be square in the hip socket or open in your Pilates V. Roll the head and shoulders up off the mat. Pulse in the air. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. And 100, happy baby, one more time. As we get ready to transition to our yoga series. Gentle rock side to side. Let the head rest on the mat. Getting ready to roll over to hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, tuck the toes under. Exhale, push up to down dog. Roll through those shoulders, drop the head down between the shoulders. Heels float down toward the mat. Feel that stretch all down the back of the leg. Lengthen the spine, glutes diagonally pushed up and behind you. Walk your hands back toward your feet. Hold the forward fold. You can grab a yoga toe hold if you'd like. Head heavy and hanging down toward the mat, arms heavy.
Trying to straighten the knees. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head last. I think I'm finally warm. And let's come to the front of our mat to start our vinyasa series. Starting in our tadasana, our mountain pose, feet under your hips, rock side to side until you find your perfect balance. Roll the shoulders down, shoulder blades back, palms to the front of the room. Gaze forward or eyes closed. Lift the top of the head up to the sky. Feel the chin lifted. Three breaths. Open eyes, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Reverse the swan dive, inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, back up. This time we'll come into our warrior series, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Step or jump into your plank. Chaturanga. Slowly exhale, hugging the elbows to the rib cage. Float down toward the mat. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Inhale, the right leg up, step it forward, left foot down to the mat, rise up to warrior one. Three breaths here. Exhale, palms to the mat, kick that back leg up for a standing split. To challenge your balance, you can try to hold onto that leg with one hand or two hands, or you could try to go deeper by using your hands as leverage on the mat. Step back into that warrior one. Inhale, exhale to warrior two. Three breaths. Flip the front palm. Peaceful warrior, three breaths. And extended side angle, staying here with the elbow tucked into the knee of that uh, right hand, or you can bring the palm down to the mat and really elongate the stretch. Three breaths. Palms to the mat, walk that right foot out to the side of the mat, lizard pose. You can stay up on that back toe or come down on the back knee. Three breaths. Palms back to the mat, step that right foot back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths here to transition.
Inhale, left leg up. Step it forward to warrior one for three breaths, really feeling those hips square to the front of the room. Big stretch on that back right hip flexor. Palms to the mat, kick that back leg up into your standing split. You can focus on balance or on stretch. Your choice, three breaths. Step back into your warrior one. Open to your warrior two. Three breaths. Lift the front palm, reverse the warrior. Gaze up at that top hand. Extended side angle, keeping that elbow tucked. We're bringing the hand down to the mat to deepen the stretch. Three breaths. Palms to the mat. Step that left foot back into the plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog, three breaths. Coming to hands and knees for some bird dog. Hands right under shoulders, knees right under hips. Engage the core, reach the top of the head forward. Extend one arm and one leg. If this is easy, you can either close your eyes or you can try to lift that right foot off the mat or both. Three breaths. And a modified dancer bind, reach for that foot, keeping shoulders and hips square to the mat. Lift that knee, that left knee up, up, top of the head reaching forward. Feeling that good stretch, three breaths. Release, other side, reset that balance, re-reach the top of the head. Choose your variation for this first hold. Eyes closed, foot lifted or both. Foot back down to the mat if you had it lifted, reach across for that foot, lift the knee. <laughs> Rotate it a little too much there. Hips and shoulders square to the mat, really focusing on lifting the knee. That's what's gonna give you the maximum stretch. Both palms, both knees down to the mat, tuck the toes under, back to your down dog. Look up between your hands, step or jump your feet up to your hands. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Rolling the shoulders back, palms to the front of the room. Re-establish that Tadasana. And coming into our balance, we're gonna come into a campfire pose. 
So you can have palms at heart center. Shift your weight until it all rests in the right leg. Lift up those toes on the right foot. Set them down one at a time. Cross the left foot over above the right knee and try to sit down into this balance. Resting elbows on that leg. I should have grabbed a block for the other foot. If you're having trouble, palms to the mat or down on a block. Two more breaths. And shake yourself out. Get ready for the other side. Get a block in case I need it. Don't know how my balance is today. Palms to heart center. Rock side to side onto your left foot. Left toes up. Set them down. Feel all those points of contact with the floor. Right leg up above the knee. And try to sit down and enjoy the campfire. Two more breaths. Rise it up, shake it out, nice job. Coming into a standing V, feet wide, toe, big toes pointing in toward one another, starting with arms in a T. Inhale, lift the face to the sky. Exhale, flat back forward until you've gone as forward as you can. Let the feet, uh, the hands drop down to the feet. You could grab your big toes in a yoga toe hold. Let your head feel heavy down toward the floor. Nice stretch here. Both hands to the right leg, bend that right knee. You can bring the palms to the mat. Big stretch here. Straighten that leg, hands over to the left, bend the left knee, palms to the mat. Back to center, hands clasped behind you or grab something to use as a strap. Lift those arms up and over for a shoulder stretch and an even deeper fold. And slowly roll back up. Coming to the front of the mat. Inhale, arms up. We're gonna come down through our vinyasa. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump to your plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Dropping to the knees, coming into a camel pose. So we're going to start with a modified camel, hands on the lower back, or you could go straight to camel if you'd like. Fingertips pointing up, elbows pulled back. Inhale, exhale, drop the head back. Upper vertebra, that cervical spine is reaching back, but lower back is protected. Hips stay forward and rise it back up. 
You can do that again, or you can come into full camel, reaching for those heels, lifting up, pushing the hips forward, dropping the head behind five breaths. Rising up, coming to cat cow to stretch that spine. Inhale, lift up the spine, exhale, drop the spine. Inhale, tuck the head, exhale, lift that head. Inhale, exhale, two more. Let's finish with a strength move. Let's finish with a plank, strong plank, hands under shoulders, feet can be hip distance or together, lifting up through the shoulders, hips aligned, top of the head reaching forward, five breaths. And come all the way through onto your back for our savasana. Legs a comfortable hip distance apart. Tuck the shoulder blades under, walk down your right hand, then your left, walk down your left foot and your right. Maximum length. And once you've found your spot, big inhale. Squeeze the fists, squeeze the toes, exhale. Relax everything and melt. Wiggle your lower jaw, unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, circle arms, at wrists and ankles. Keeping eyes closed, roll over to one side using your arm as a pillow. Tuck the knees, tuck the toes in a fetal position. Push up to sitting, palms face down on your thighs. Inhale, lift the top of the head up to the sky. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Back to center, push the tailbone down, lift up the top of the head, palms to heart center, inhale. Exhale. Palms to the center of your forehead, inhale. Exhale, if you'd like, you can join me in a bow. Namaste.
Thanks for joining today. I'm glad you could make it. I'm definitely finally warm. Good. I was going to say there was a there was a 